Fala pessoal, hoje eu estou aqui com o Frederick, que é fundador e CEO da Crosswise, que é uma corretora descentralizada cross-chain, que vai ser lançada aí em cerca de um mês. Eu tenho algumas perguntas para fazer aqui para o Frederick sobre o projeto. Então se você gosta aqui desse tipo de conteúdo, quer mais entrevistas com outros CEOs aqui de projetos, deixa seu like aí, comente também aqui abaixo e bora lá para o vídeo. Okay, guys, I'm here with Frederick Big, the CEO of Crosswise. I'm super excited about the project. I'd like to interview Frederick today to talk about uh, the Texas, his project. So, Frederick, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Very excited cool. to be here. Cool, man. And we met in, in Bali uh, like, what, two years ago? And, uh, yeah, it's some, you... some time ago. <laughs> yeah, Since then, I... I've been busy. <laughs> Yeah, I met you in person, then in Copangan, you were also in Panga when I was there, so uh, exactly. super, super happy. And then when I'm I realized really... you, <laughs> when I realized you're doing you you're making this this project, I was super excited of all because you were like a successful guy. You you had a gaming company before, you now exactly. you, uh, you do also e-commerce into crypto and you've been building this project for many months you know when i was there yeah. I was like i could not believe my eyes when i saw you like all this project <laughs> management managing many many people and this was so exciting for me to see because in the crypto space it's very hard to find people actually building something before first they launch something then they after they build right mostly they mostly they are raising the money first and then they are trying to build <laughs> yeah, exactly and, and i saw you investing money building something like wow this is a uh, insane for me it was super um, you know uh, mind blowing. <laughs> I was oh, super, <laughs> super excited, and uh, and uh, this is one of the reasons I, I invest in your project because I believe in the project, and also most more, most important, like, I believe in you because you are like a very humble guy, a successful guy, but very humble. When I met you in the beginning, I had no idea how successful you you are, you know. So, and in the um, the more I get, get to I know each other, realize, yeah. I think it's very important, you know, to, just to um, um, just to be honest with your project and the um, expectations you're giving to investors. Um, otherwise, when you are trying to build something and you can't come up with it, it's it, it won't work out. And especially in the crypto space, it's difficult to find the right guys um, to actually build something, to have the devs, um, to have someone who knows about server security, who, uh, someone who knows about marketing in crypto, which is very difficult, especially for ICOs and everything. There are loads of fake AMA groups, loads of fake people on Telegram, on Twitter, on Instagram, trying to promote you for like $500 a tweet. Then you're getting 500 bots inside your group and they're just asking random questions. And you see like 20 bots are asking the same questions. So in yeah. the end, it's it's just obvious it's fake. So yeah, of course it's, uh, yeah, it's a crazy crypto space. Yeah, unfortunately, it has a lot of scams and things. So um, yeah, I know you are a serious guy. So that's why I want to give you the opportunity to talk about the project, talk about yourself. Right. Yeah, so let, let's start before, before talking about the project. Can you tell, tell us a, a bit more about yourself? Like what you've been doing in the past? Like what you're sure. doing now? So um, when I was 18, I founded GK4Me.com, um, which was one of the largest marketplaces for video games back then. Um, we opened an eBay style marketplace for digital activation codes for games. And um, we have um, established, established this company in Hong Kong. Uh, we went from hiring um, two people to uh, 25 within a year. And at some point we decided to sell it because of new tax um, regulations in the European Union, uh, which was the VAT MOS um, law back then. So you have to, you have to invoice the, the customer where, where he is based in and not where your company is based in. And uh, after that, I moved to uh, building uh, brands on, uh, on, on Amazon, first in the EU. And then I went to the US and uh, started um, doing like um, toy products and everything. But in the same time, I was very interested in crypto. So I, was, um, I started to invest in crypto. I started to, um, to gain knowledge about DeFi and everything, because DeFi is something that very much interests me. You don't have any boundaries at all. You don't need um, any kind of third party providers such as PayPal or Amazon you're just free to go with your own app and anyone can just connect with their wallet to it and can just uh, function with your app, which is super exciting, I think, um, because we have so many limitations in, in other uh, sectors uh, where you really need PayPal, you need Amazon and you know, like it's, there's always an issue with them uh, limiting your accounts or any kind of bullshit, bullshit that can really happen with it. So with DeFi, you don't have that. You are just honest and um, you just have your app and it's just obvious what you are trying to offer to customers and what you have to offer for users. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean because I have a co e-commerce company also. I know that. <laughs> in PayPal, Stripe, these guys, you know, piss, yes, piss me off can, a lot. So. Yeah, they can piss you off a lot. <laughs> All right. So, so let's then talk about about the project because this is what sure. you're for, right? So, uh, so can you tell us more, like, uh, what is the crosswise and how it uh, it differs from uh, from other DEXs we have out there? So currently, the first DEXs we got on BSC and everything like PancakeSwap and all of the others. They're completely decentralized, which means um, they just threw in the debt. Everyone can add any coin, any liquidity to any contract address they want. And there are no limitations. And also they don't do any kind of vetting process or they are not checking on projects that are actually being offered there, which means uh, that we have a lot of rock pulls and scams and everything. And when you're trying to contact somewhere there regarding support or anywhere, anything, you just go to the Telegram group and you have to find a mod um, who could put, potentially look into it and they will call, he will contact the dev of the team. He might come back to you after a few days, but you're not too sure about that. So what, uh, what we're trying to do with Crosswise is, is offering a, a centralized experience, like from the sex, you know, like from Binance or from Kraken or any other exchange on a decentralized exchange, which also results in like having a real support system with live support, with email and everything and so on. And also, we are vetting new new, pro, um, new coins listed on our decks. We're checking on them. We're checking if the liquidity is locked. We're checking if the owners can be verified. If the contracts um, have any kind of issues, if they are, if you could update them um, regarding new liquidity pools in the in the future. So we're actually warning our users if the project is safe to invest in. And uh, we're trying to offer a lot of um, tools that other dexes don't have. So for eg. When you are trading on PancakeSwap, you would probably also need something like Yieldward or Apeboard to follow on your portfolio, to follow on your LPs, on your on the liquidity you are providing. Because PancakeSwap or any other DEX, they didn't offer too many stats for your account. So you weren't too sure how much impermanent loss you have. Um, you aren't too sure how, um, how the coins in your portfolio developed over time. So we're, we're trying to solve that issue and bring together all of those tools you need and the centralized support you are used to from any kind of sex. So any kind of retail investor will be just fine with using our dev and, it's and it will be like, you know, like a gateway for new investors in, in the DeFi space to come to when they're only used to a centralized exchange until now. Well, very exciting, man. Yeah, this is, this is it's a pain. Yes, when uh, these exchanges you don't know, we know liquidities you 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 you're yeah. providing, like how much money you're making or losing. It's crazy, man. Yeah. You're completely lost. So I when and you also like yeah, and also many users they are not sure how safe it is to invest. I mean, even when the contract is audited, it still it still means they could potentially rug pull the whole liquidity when it's not locked. Or you know, like there are so many ways of how they could slowly rug pull a coin. By also like selling it out from their uh, from the team allocation or something and dumping the coin price so in the end you know like no one is too sure how safe the the the, the DeFi space is at the moment we had those um we had those um stories with uh, titan and um, titan um uh, finance and all of those let's say um um all of those cases um where they got um like the price hack flash loan attack yeah. And I think it's very it's very important to integrate um, with Chainlink and all of those other services to ensure like the safety and security of all users because we are not talking about um, putting in five thousand dollars but people are providing millions in uh, in um, in LP tokens on those platforms. Yeah, yeah, crazy. And I just, we just saw what happened also with Squid Game now, right? Like yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, it went Squid Game. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> massive rug pull, man. <laughs> All right, so uh, but we're talking about crosswise. You're also talking cross chain, right? So we, we're gonna sure. the, the the goal of the one of the goals of the the project is also be able to do cross uh, cross chain yeah. um, transfers. So how yes. this is gonna work? How we be able to do actually create a cross chain transfers? So I mean, many projects that actually start from zero and try to build up their own API, they are kind of delusional because to build an own API regarding cross chain transfers and all of those nodes and liquidity pools on all sides. And those interacting smart contracts from each chain, it's a huge thing to do. No team that has like two or three devs will be able to solve that within a year or something. This is something where you really need like 15 devs working full time on it. Um, and that's why we also wanted to ensure, of course, maximum security so the node system can't, um, can't fuck up, let's, to, to be honest. So we decided. Um, um, so we decided to go uh, with, um, with Biconomy which is um, they're offering their, their hyphen API. 
So mm -hmm. Biconomy is a provider. They also launched their own uh, service, um, their own um, coin a few months ago. And they offer um, the Hyphen API, which is for cross-chain transfers. And they're offer offering the API for gasless feature, for the gasless feature we're using. Okay. So we have partnered up with them um, to work on those two features with them. And uh, we are ready to launch on BSC um, to Polygon and to EVE with Hyphen. And um, this API also interconnects all of those nodes from each chain. So when the user starts a transfer on BSC, um, this, um, this transaction is getting processed um, to the node on BSC and the LP token is then sent from the LP pool on BSC to the user. And this okay. happens instantly almost. It only takes 20 seconds. Not like a Polygon bridge or any kind of other bridge which uses like layer one to layer two transfers which um, take up to two hours to process. So especially now you see like on Polygon, the bridge is very slow. They have a lot of transactions. They have to manually process them through the nodes. Um, they go from layer two to layer two, uh, from layer two to layer one. And this um, takes up to two hours. We are able to process any kind of cross-chain transfer within 20 seconds. Wow, this is this is crazy. Very, very exciting, man. This is very nice. Uh, and then um, this is a question I want to have to you. So which chains we're talking about? We're talking B about B BSC, sure. Polygon, uh, Ethereum, what else? So the, the first, I think the major chains we want to deploy first. Um, so we are, we are launching on BSC in mid-December. And we quickly want to follow up with Polygon and then with Phantom first. So these are all um, these are all chains based on Solidity and ERC20 tokens. So it's very easy to port smart contracts to it and to redeploy the app in an, um, on the other um, chain. And um, that's why we are taking the feedback from the community. And they all say like they are most actively trading on Polygon, Phantom, and BSC. So once we offer those three chains, I think users will already be able to create a lot of uh, transaction volume because the most traded tokens are on those on, the, on those three chains at the moment okay oh nice cool so um and also we, we when we talk about crosswise we're not talking about only cross-chain um transfers in, in the DeFi, but we're talking also about uh, the launchpad feature which is something that yeah. we're super excited so what are like the long-term plans for the, the launchpad Sure. So we're, we're trying to create a launch hub rather than a launch pad. So you see many of those launch pad features um, PancakeSoap and the others have to offer. Uh, people are excited about, of course, but um, they're kind of limited because you have to provide, provide the LP tokens, um, the to their own token, their native tokens, such as cake is getting burned and the rest of the 50 um, percent, the rest is taken and given to the project. So basically PancakeSwap has like a 50 percent fee on any ICO they're hosting which is a lot to be honest. And um, they aren't offering anything else to the project rather than this ICO marketing. Of course, they have a huge audience, but it doesn't mean that they are really like um, trying to trigger the success of the project, which would be more, let's say it's more a success for the project to have help regarding uh, setting up legal structures, regarding the tech of the projects, regarding marketing of the ICO, also regarding marketing once the project launches. So we are trying to offer all of these uh, things in, in our incubation system, which will um, be called the launch hub for, um, for, new, for new projects. And also we will have um, new features such as pre locked liquidity. So you can pre lock the liquidity on our app and um, once you launch, it's already locked. Um, you can already uh, pre-distribute the team allocations of coins and have a very like uh, transparent thing of doing this with your community. You will be able to have um, cross-chain liquidity pools. So let's say you're launching your coin on BSC. We will help you set it up on Phantom and Polygon as well for a G. So your coin will be tradable on, on all three of those chains. Then you can reach a way larger amount of retail investors than only on BSC for a G. Wow, super nice. Super, super cool, man. And, and, and something that I see in your group, like people are even, uh, they're all asking questions or um, doing some recommendation stuff. I see that people can, uh, you're trying to, to listen to your, um, let's not say audience, but your, the, your um, community. So I see that you guys have some kind of voting um, uh, in a platform, kind of uh, people can vote what they want. This is, yes. this is gonna be the future of Crosswise. People can, uh, the holders can, can decide what, uh, where it's gonna go. So we actually want our community to be a very active part of us because our success comes from the community. So we want to do what the community wants to do, which means when you're holding cross tokens, you will be able to use our voting feature, um, which is done via snapshot. And you could, you could easily vote on any kind of major change in our platform. 
you will be also be able to uh, vote on if you want to, if we should list a specific new token if we should go into a new marketing partnership or anything and in in the end of next year we're planning to also release our own governance um, coin which would then replace uh, with the voting um, coin which is crossed now at the moment so because this is more fair then we have like a specific amount of coins everyone can buy the voting rights be a stakeholder of the company itself and also earn of course a share of the of all of those fees we are taking for eg for the exchange the advanced exchange for the bridge and all of those small fees we have on the platform okay very nice yeah guys so I invite everybody to have a look at crosswise you know here's the website crosswise.finance just have a look uh, there's uh, the white paper light paper pitch deck the tech rate audit here so there, there's we're going to talk about the audit uh, quite uh, in the next questions here but yeah so you can have a look you know it's very nice the the the, the the pitch deck, the uh, white paper is very, I really like, you know, I had a, I had a look, uh, I, I read everything. So the, we're going to talk about the white listing also in the end, the white listing and the, and the pre-sale is still ongoing. Okay, so I invite you guys to have a look. But maybe, Frederick, maybe let's do like this. Maybe you can show us a little bit, uh, the, sure. you know, what you're building. Like, let's, let me share your screen. Okay, so um, here is the deck we're currently building. This is like an alpha internal alpha version of it. So I will first show you what we can have, currently have on the BC testnet and then I will show you how the design will look once it's finalized so I will show you our like uh, design as PSD files a static file not an active website mm -hmm. so this is basically the start screen of the app um, mm -hmm. we have forked um, the basic router of Uniswap v2 we mm -hmm. took some elements from non dexes such as pancake swap but uh, all of uh, everything you see like let me go to the to the trade exchange um, everything we have here is our own design. So um, also adding liquidity to it and everything. So um, basically all of those features you see here are very commonly known from any kind of DEX. We have the trade view, then we have the exchange, which is like the instant exchange. This is what's okay. already working. So we have um, the typical list of coins that you can already trade. You can add liquidity to it. And this is also already working with our own coin cross, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So I can just hit add cross BNB here. I can connect my uh, my MetaMask to it. But as you can see here, you can already see that the pools are working. We have farms, cross BNB, cross BSD, BUSD, BNB. You can't see the icons at the moment, just mm -hmm. because it's on the test net. Once it's released, of course, everything will be working. You see the total balance um, that is put in into uh, into the farm. Arms. You can see the value in cross, the value in X cross you are holding. You can see your amount that you have staked in there. And you can easily turn off and turn on the vesting feature we have, which means when you turn off vesting, you get 75% uh, of the total um, farm rewards directly into your wallet as cross. When you leave vesting on, you're getting 100% and 50% are vested from X cross into cross within five months. We have an auto compound feature which lets you put it automatically back into LP, into LP tokens. So you don't need to use anything like auto farm or any kind of, um, uh, of, um, of farm optimizer, let's say beefy finance or something. You can just turn on auto compound, that's it. You can see, you can uh, toggle also stake only, so you will only see the LP, um, LPs, um, the farms you are, you are in yourself. So this is just like, we're implementing, as you see, like vesting, auto compound, and features like that. You have the stats on top, which you don't have with any kind of other decks at the moment. This is just the beginning. And um, once uh, I will show you the design letter, how the farm page should look once it's done within a month. Mm -hmm. And there are more, lot more, loads more features to come. This well, is very, just the, very yeah. exciting. So yeah, I've seen you've been building this for 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 a long time. You know the the, the project. You know, yeah. I even I talked with some of your developers in, in the past. So. Yeah, super excited. It's a, but something that we can talk about uh, uh, because this is a concern for more, many people in, uh, yeah. in crypto, and also is my concern. Yeah. And uh, about security because I've seen you, you done some uh, audits, you know. But mm -hmm. um, can we maybe talk about security? So, of how course. can we ensure that uh, Crosswise there will be there will be no hacks? No, no. Uh, do you have some kind of a hackathon or something planned? You know, what's what's the goal to? To have so, this, uh... um, of course, so first of all, we are currently integrating or we're already integrated with Certic um, and Certic Skynet, which is like a live surveillance software for um, for devs. 
Um, they are checking the security of the app the whole time in real time. They're checking the trade volume. They're checking on transactions if there's any front running happening. Um, if there are any kind of market mani uh, mani mani manipulations happening on the platform. So they're offering like a whole security um, um, set of tools for it. And um, on our um, exchange itself, we have already integrated with Chainlink, which means we're using price feeds rather than our own market making automatism, which means we are using the current price you, you have on any kind of centralized exchange. So we're taking the price from Chainlink, so you get an up-to-date price. You will never get scammed in any kind of way that you're paying a different price than the market price at the moment. I mean, it, it also leads to less um, arbitrage trading, which we don't want on our decks because we want a stable price for every user. So then the other thing we have from, um, from the security kind of view is, is also the price seat for our own coin cross. So as you've seen, there were loads of flash loan attacks in the last few months, um, especially in the, for DeFi apps, Pancake, Bunny, and all of those other famous hacks. So basically all of their investors lost 100% of their assets within a minute because the coin was instantly dumped to almost zero dollars. Pancake Bunny went from, I think, $50 to $1 within one minute. And it couldn't, um, it couldn't um, gain the price again just because you're splashing a huge amount of coins on the market at the very moment when the flash on attack is happening. And you can't take those coins back anymore. They can work with, uh, with, uh, with buybacks and everything, but it's not possible to buy back 200 million coins when you had 5 million before. Like, you're splashing a huge amount of coins on the market. So we're offering Chainlink. And then we have our own anti-bot and anti-well features. The anti-well feature is something many people were concerned about. Like, do you really want to limit the transaction volume to 0.5% for any type of coin? We're not doing that. Like the anti-well anti router, it's optional. We're deploying four different routers. Uh, one is the standard one or a MasterChef router, which doesn't have any kind of anti-well protection at all. Number two has 0.5% um, anti-well throttle, so you are able to trade a maximum of 0.5 of the total supply of the coin. And you know, even with Ethereum or something, uh, who will trade 0. more than 0.5% of the total volume on our decks? You would need to invest millions in it. To um, You would have a huge trading volume for that. Second one is 1%, and the third one is, zero, uh, is 2%. So any kind of coin that launches um, through our decks, through our launch hub, can select the right router for the, for, for the project. So uh, when they decide to have 1% anti web protection, they go with this router. They don't want it. They can just use the normal one without any kind of protection. But many, many new projects, they want it because, um, you know, it's very easy to invest 10K into a new project and you could easily buy 10% of the total allocation with it or let, let's say snipe it with a sniping bot. That's mm -hmm. something they don't want. So they want the anti web protection. So new retail investors, they are not getting... Um, they, they're not getting this huge price increase through bots sni uh, sniping a huge uh, amount of the total supply. Yeah, that's basically uh, what we have um, worked on so far. We're also working on a set of anti-bot features, which would limit uh, certain, like any kind of wallet to do more than, let's say, 200 transactions per day um, with uh, being online 24 hours. So like typical bot trading, we can easily limit that and um, we can just... Um, um, we can then also uh, lower the market manipulation of uh, lower cap coins because the trading is mostly done by many bots on those um, small cap coins. And this is something uh, retail investors you saw, especially with those shit coins, many investors, they got burned with it, with, with bots trading the coin. Yeah, true. No, sounds exciting. And um, uh, can, we, um, can we talk maybe a bit about like, uh, because people were also... Uh, Concerned about how how the, the what's the future you know what uh, the, the token price and how the the, the token sure. how can you increase the price of the token in the future the liquidity and utility of the token sure. of course so what do we in terms of the, let's say tokenomics how can you explain yeah. to people um, why crosswise is a good uh, good investment like in terms of uh, you know long term we have to, we have a really great team <laughs> <Just joking. laughs> so um, um, yeah so we have a max supply of fifty million coins. Uh, the first access to launch a year or two years ago, they have unlimited, unlimited supply, which means when you invest now, you will never know how many coins um, there will be on the market within a year or something. The amount of coins can just increase like um, two or three X or four X, which means they would be four times the amount of people investing 
uh, money into the project to even hold the price, which is kind of difficult. So that's why many new DEXs or new DEPs um, decided um, to go uh, with a max supply. That's what we did and we set it to 50 million. We offer 3 million coins in the, the current ICO we have. 1 million coin stage one got sold out after 13 minutes. We're currently into stage two with um, the price being at $0.3. And um, stage three will be held with $0.6. And the release price, when the coin gets released in December, will be $0.75. So when you buy the coin now, you have an instant gain. But the vesting period is set to five months with 20% being linearly unlocked every month, which means you will have the first batch of coins within a month. Mm -hmm. No, sounds good. Yeah, very excited. Um, okay, so let's talk about some, something important about partnerships. I seen that you partner with Certic and Chainlink. Do you yeah. plan to have more partnerships coming soon? Or yeah, future? this is this is this is uh, just the start. I mean, partnerships are uh, what's essential for a Dex because we need the constant flow of new investors, with the constant flow of new users using our app and being interested in it. Especially, we have some big players in the market already that have millions of users. And of course, we need to offer something new and exciting to users and also regarding marketing and partnerships. So they come to us and they start trading on our decks. This is our ultimate goal. Um, we're not here to just um, have people investing for years and we won't release anything. We want active users on our deck. That's why we're doing the whole project. That's why we have already started um, developing five months ago. And that's why we didn't start after the initial investment of the, uh, of the ICO investors. So. Um, we have, we have announced um, Certic, we have announced Chainlink. Uh, there are a few new technical partners to be announced during the next weeks. Um, we're currently honestly building up our whole marketing plan with um, exposure on YouTube, with exposure on Medium, on Telegram, Reddit. Um, we have a Bitcoin Talk bounty uh, program set up. So once that is released, you'll be able to uh, track down those bugs and get, um, get some free cross tokens for it. We'll have campaigns on Bitcoin Talk, um, on BSC Scan. Uh, we'll have some exposure on major magazines, including Hacker Noon and um, um, BTC News and uh, some other websites. So we're currently trying to figure out um, what are what the best places um, are to actually market our decks. Um, it's also because, the, um, as you know, there's so much fake traffic and you just need to see what's what's really converting in this space. Um, 80% of those marketing um, things you will try out won't actually work, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so basically you, you answered the, the, the question I had about marketing, so the question yeah. is <laughs> answered already. So yeah, I believe you guys are gonna do a um, great marketing. So it's, it's, you know you know that it is market, so you know how it works. So I'm pretty excited <laughs> for, the, for, the, for the marketing because it's, 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 it's important for any project. It, it doesn't matter if you have a good technology, if you don't have good marketing, the project doesn't, you know, take, of doesn't, take, doesn't take off. Of course. So, you need the yeah, so, yeah, cool. So just to, to, to wrap up then, like, can you tell me if there was more because, because the white listing, there, there were some issues in the white listing. Many people could not yeah. invest because of the past exactly. issues. Maybe you can talk like what's, how can people now can get white listed and invest in cross -white? It's super easy at the moment now. So at the moment you will only need your email address and your wallet address, which is a MetaMask PC address. Um, our preset system only works on the desktop, uh, laptop or Mac system. It's not working on your mobile, sadly. Um, we couldn't um, work that out because uh, Wallet Connect um, wouldn't issue any pre-sale contract um, functionality until now. So we had to go with the desktop MetaMask version. But you only need your pass uh, you uh, only need your email address and your wallet address. It takes 30 seconds to sign up and um, we, you get whitelisted within one or two hours after that. You're, you will get an email, your wallet address got whitelisted, that's it. In the past, we were, uh, we were working with a full KYC with, with Passport. Um, after that, after many users reported us with issues that their passport didn't get accepted, BlockPass had some technical timeouts, and so on, so on. Many people drop out of the whitelisting process. We spoke to our legal department, and then we um, then we actually decided to go with um, with with the simple whitelisting process because we don't need the full KYC at the moment. Okay, so is the link is the link on the website the same? You just click here, get whitelist. Exactly, it's still, the, it's still it's still an up to date uh, form. So this is the simple form which only it's like one minute for you to get whitelisted. Okay. So just click here, get whitelisted, and then uh, then it's going to open this form and just process, exactly. just go uh, go ahead and, and yeah, exactly. because I know I know at least like five to ten people they just message me, Andre, 
I, I cannot invest because it didn't, it didn't, it didn't work. I know uh, my yeah. girlfriend, she's mm -hmm. Russian. She could, her passport could not work, <laughs> you know, like, and uh, yeah, so now there are many uh, issues yeah. with it. Yeah, I understand. So now people can uh, can can try again, you know. So this is uh, important. So guys, the the pre sale is still on. Is the round two now zero point three dollars? Uh, the the yeah. which is quite quite cheap still, like uh, it's crazy. Exactly. And um, yeah, uh, Frederick, thank you so much for for coming here. Thank today you for having me. Talking about uh, the project. So is is there anything else you want to talk before we wrap up the the episode? Um, just wanted to say that we also have local Telegram communities now. Many people came to us and they wanted to have a local community in Portuguese or in Russian, everything, because many have a language barrier in English. So we've set it up. You can find the list in our link tree, um, in our link tree, and that's it. Okay, cool. Perfect. Frederick, thank you so much for, for coming thank you. today. So I wish you very good luck for the project. I'm also super <laughs> thank excited. You so much. I, invested, I invested myself and I, I, I'm <laughs> going to be following. And uh, We won't disappoint yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you so much for everybody to thank you. watching the video today. And I uh, hope you see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Eu espero que você tenha gostado da entrevista com o Frederick. Se você gostou, então deixa o like aí, se inscreve no canal, ative todas as notificações para você não perder a próxima entrevista. Deixe seus comentários aqui abaixo, isso é muito importante. E a gente se vê aí na próxima. Um abraço!